What is going on everyone? So I um uh just bought some new wheels a few weeks ago, yeah. And um well I got them from Avid One and they have been holding up really nice. It's the A something O six I think. Let me let me just show you. They're white, but I think they I think they fit pretty well on a black car you're going for that like nice little stancy type of thing so much better than the other ones but you can't really got some wheel gap but yeah so what I'm running is a it's a bolt pattern of 5x114.3 and it is 17 by 9 or something like that I'm not I'm not too sure if it's somewhere on here I don't know it, they get really dirty really fast though but that that's what you get when you buy white wheels and um, that's just leaves and everything not rust but look at that avid one sponsor me now let me just show you the old wheels though but um yeah they still fit nice on them. Here are the old wheels. And um, these are the factory wheels that came on the car when it was made in 2001. These are the GT wheels, I'm pretty sure. But they had their time of abuse and everything. But I'm not sure what I like more. I mean, I like these. If I put these on the rear, then I had uh, maybe these on the front still. Give it like this really nice uh, offset and illusion that I drift, which I kind of want to. But I mean, it, it's amazing. They're really light too compared to the factory ones. I just love it so much. Just really, really nice work that Avid One did. Now you could say that Avid One did in fact um, replicate like a TE37 type of look, but it's whatever. I mean, they're holding up really fine. Really nice quality, in my opinion. And plus, if you want to buy like rep wheels, then it doesn't matter you want to spend the money on the real thing which is like thousands of dollars do it but i spent i'm not going to even say but it wasn't a lot i'll tell you that and um they they hold up really nice they don't get too dirty or anything i mean you gotta clean them but they're fine so if you want to buy some avid one wheels you can just get them off of ebay which is what i did and then you know i don't know just find a trustworthy seller that's all nothing crazy i mean they're just wheels right really nice fresh I run a 245-45 on the front and back, which isn't, you know, all that much. And it's not, like, crazy or anything, but... I mean, they kind of look like pizza cutters, but it still, still pulls strong. You know, they don't do that much. I mean, it holds up really nice. And just like Ooh, doctor I'm gonna show you a nice little comparison of the two wheels and oh god it's that white yeah we kind of had some rain here but I um, mean yeah. this is probably one of the front wheels Ugh. I gotta push this out. I mean, not 
too too bad going from that all the way up to that I mean there's there's a difference not not too bad I mean these these are just fine they got they got their use on them I need to clean it but yeah it's whatever still looking fresh Garbage, not garbage. I mean, I guess I'll conclude it for today. I just want to do a nice little update of what I've been up to. I'm looking for a new hood, actually. So if you know any cheap hoods that are actually real, you know, vented and everything, on like this crap, yeah. And then these, these are so annoying. These are just plastic. I mean, it gives it a nice look, but eh. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's like flexing. Yeah. Oh well, I have to deal with it. I don't know anymore. I'm just going off of whatever and just admiring the car for what it is wow pop up i mean it's not bad still a good car you know new wheels first thing you should always do to your car make sure your life easier and then start to um do more things to it as you go along but wheels are definitely first thing to do no matter what but I mean I got I got an intake first thing well you actually should show that I'm gonna show that Nice little, nice little engine, you know. Yeah, that that's the intake, and then here's the manifold. I'm actually trying to polish it up. On camera, it looks a lot better, but which is a good thing. But it's not, it's not pretty at all. As you can see, we get down deeper, and then it's all black, you know? There's a company called Super 6 Performance, and what they do is they actually get a, um, I don't know if they actually do receive, but they create, I guess, uh, like the manifold, and then they go to the valves, they go to that block itself. They don't do headers, but that's okay. They also do a throttle body, which I've been seeing. They do a 65 millimeter throttle body, which I can see goes for like quite a lot of money, sadly. And yeah, I mean, there's, there's plans for this car if I do end up keeping it. You know, power. Power, more power. <laughs> nice little V8. I'm kidding guys, it's a V6. God, don't take me so seriously. But yeah, that, that's the car. 
Uh, these are the new wheels and everything. I don't know, there, there's a lot more to come for it and everything. I'm just glad I got what I got. You know, I mean, it's not, not too shabby of a car. As you can see, it actually died down. Sadly, they only came with just a pipe. I want a dual. Ford, what you doing? I want a dual. Make it for me. Don't do it for anyone else. Do it for me. Do it for me, Ford. Uh, guess that's gonna that's gonna end it. Yeah. Ooh, that's dirty. Yeah, see ya, bye, peace out.